So welcome everybody. Today is Valentine's Day, February the 14th, 2021. And you are listening to Channeling Korea. So um, as I mentioned, I'm actually the energy, I'm just feeling so tired now. Physically, I'm like, <laughs> I, but, but I do know that it is usually when, uh, when I'm physically tired, it is, it's actually um, easier for channeling to come through because then my ego would be um, out of the way and I'm just, um, it's just easier for me to be the vessel. So let's begin. Let's begin by just um, going into a short meditation before Kriya comes in. So let's just take a nice, smooth, long, deep breath. Breathing in easily and gently. And when you can breathe in no more, then just let it all go. Breathe out. And then just breathe in again and follow the rhythm of your own breathing with the intention of elongating your breath. Because every time you elongate your breath, you kind of send a signal to your body, to your physical body that you're ready to relax. You want it just be more peaceful and calm and relax. So just do this a couple of times, slowly breathing in and slowly breathing out. And as you breathe out, let go of everything that is taking you away from this moment. And when you're breathing in, just pay attention to how air is moving into your lungs through your nose. Just focus on breathing. Just be Just use your breath as a means to keep you occupied or keep your conscious mind occupied. And when you feel you're more relaxed, then shift your focus into your heart. And pretend that you can actually breathe in to your heart instead of your lungs. And you can actually breathe out from your heart. And just breathe in and breathe out. When you focus in your heart, just feel your mind becoming a little bit even more peaceful and calm. Just let all your thoughts go. And when you're in your heart, just focus on love. Focus on this unconditional love that you have for your body. Unconditional love for yourself in this moment. And when you feel that your build up of unconditional love 
for your body and for yourself is feeling pretty good, then imagine that with each breath that you take in, you can actually expand this feeling of unconditional love to outside of you. And each time you breathe out, imagine that you spread this unconditional love that you have to around you as well. So that you start to form this ball of unconditional love around your body, filling up the whole room that you're in. And each time you breathe in and breathe out, you feel even more of your surrounding with unconditional love. Imagine feeling and filling the whole building that you're in with unconditional love. No matter who is in the building that you're in, whether you know them, you've met them, or they may be complete strangers to you, they're still being surrounded by your unconditional love energy. And the next time you breathe in, and out. Imagine that the whole city that you're in being filled with unconditional love that comes from you. And the next time you breathe in and out, Imagine that the whole country that you're in is filled with your unconditional love energy. It does not know, does not really matter whether you have met everyone in the country that you're in right now. You still surround them with your unconditional love. And the next time you breathe in and out, imagine that the whole earth is filled with your unconditional love. Each and every one on the earth in this moment is filled with your unconditional love. And as you reach in to your heart, and each time you breathe in, imagine that everyone on earth is also breathing in right when you are breathing in as well. that you and everyone else on earth is all synchronized. Synchronized in our breathing. 
and also synchronized in our heart, all aligning. We live in this illusion that each and every one of us are separate. And yet, on some level, this is just an illusion. At another level, we are all connected and very much synchronized. We are not synchronized in the sense that we are doing the same thing at the same time. We may be doing different things. However, we are still synchronized because we all swim in the soup the same cosmic soup of energies. And this cosmic soup of energy affects each and every one of us. No matter who we are, no matter where we are, we are all existing within source, within the creator source. And in that sense, we are all synchronized. We are all sharing the same energy that is within the source. Although each of us has the freedom as to how we express what it is that we take in from source. Some of us like to really be synchronized and work with source. And some of us prefer to work opposite source, to try something different, something totally unexpected. And source does not have a judgment about who is right and who is wrong because that is what we are here to do. To use our creativity to really follow what is within us and to express what we got from source in our own unique way. And yet, no matter how much we try to be unique, it's all still within the source. There are there is infinite possibilities within source. Each and every one. When we express something differently, or even when we 
expressly take a very different approach from what Source intend for us to do. We are still doing what Source wants us to do because Source, the only requirement is for us to explore, to make something new according to what is in our heart. The more we express that uniqueness within us, the more we walk that path of expressing what is uniquely ours. Mm, the more we are doing exactly what Source wanted us to do. The concept of right or wrong is, shall we say, a human concept. In the mind of Source, in the mind of God, there is no such thing as right or wrong. Everything is celebrated. Uniqueness is celebrated. It is our uniqueness that enriches the whole. So why is it important to understand this now? At this point, in time. Why is that important to know? Because it is precisely at this point in time that it is important to remember what is truly within us. We have heard of the, the two earths. There is one that has the old energy that is still trying to play, to play out the old energy. And then there is the new earth, those who want it. And it's called for Mother Earth to step into higher octave of energy. And we are, we have been doing that for a while now. And we're beginning to see what has been in preparation for decades. And now we have come to the point where there is no turning back. We have each, every one of us, each soul 
has made our own choice, whatever that choice may be, it is the right choice. It is exactly the right choice for that soul. And we have reached a point where everything is kind of set. The choice you have made, you have made it for good. And the probability is that Nothing, really nothing. No amount of new information is going to sway you to pick a different choice. And so that is what I mean by set. Everything is set now. We've come to the point where energetically there are two separate Earth. We may not actually see, we may not actually see it being manifested as solidly separate, but energetically, it's already done, done and over with. And don't worry, no need to think twice. You made the choice that is the best for your soul. And even though many people, or at least some people, have said that if you don't make the choice to go into higher energies, that you're going to go through some hard time. That's not the case. Each soul is and always will be a part of source. There is absolutely Absolutely no, no one gets lost, not forever. It may seem like that temporarily, but no one is ever, ever lost. Everyone in the end goes back to source. That is simply the way it is. It does not matter whether you are the most loving, angelic, and caring person in the whole universe. And it does not matter whether you are the most evil, selfish, conniving soul in the history on the universe. Both will go back to source someday. In human terms, someday, maybe a long time, but in spirit terms, it is something that is already done. 
and to realize that this is all, all of this is simply an illusion. Good, bad, heaven, hell, all of this is simply an illusion. The truth is hell exists within source. Heaven also exists within source. There is nothing outside. So never, never need to worry whether you have made the right choice or whether you are on the right timeline. No matter which timeline you are on, it is the right one for you, for your own unique experience. It is the perfect timeline. You cannot make a mistake. However you decide to use your energy as source, as the creator, however you see fit to use it, it is precisely the right way for you. does not matter what you choose to experience. What matters is that you experience, that you choose to experience. That is the most important part. So do not rob yourself of living life to the fullest. That's what you came here to do. Do not look at what other people do and put judgment on them that they are not doing it right. They are doing it exactly right for them. May not be exactly the right thing for you. And that is the way it should be. allow everyone to have their own experience. No matter what they choose to do, no matter what they choose to experience, remember one thing, that they too are source. They too have that divine spark in them that is guiding them to create this, all of this together, each and every one of us. Doing our best. That is not always an easy concept to grasp. 
because we are so used to judging. We're so used to wanting to be right. It's a funny human habit. We want to do the things that is right. They lost sight of the fact that there's no such thing as right for everyone, all circumstances, all time in all space. If someone is doing it, then it is right for them. This is not so much a channeling to give information as this is a channeling to start to train you all or to assist you all to really remember that sometimes when you look at a seed. Unless you are a very skilled and knowledgeable in all types of seeds, sometimes when you simply look at a seed, you have no idea what kind of a seed it is. Will it grow up, up to be a strong, big tree? Or is this simply a seed? For a small, tiny shrub, it is not often easy to look at a seed. And yet the only way to know what is within that seed is simply to plant it, to allow the seed to unfold with the help of the universe. And the same is true for each and every one of you. Some of you may have big ideas and know exactly what it is that you're here to do and what it is that you're supposed to do. And then some of you have no clue. You try to think, what is my purpose? What am I here to do? What is my unique gift? And many people have to search long and hard for the answer for these questions. Who am I? Why am I here? What am I here to do? I'm not saying don't ask those questions. I'm just saying that you can ask all the questions you want and you may even come up with answers. But that does not mean that you have come up with the answer because sometimes the answer is 
much simpler. And sometimes you won't know what the answer truly is. Because sometimes the answer really is this. Who you are. You are here to pick who it is that you want to experience. You are a chameleon. You are a spirit. You have a thousand faces, a million faces. You have lived many, many lives. And yet you still ask that question, who am I? You are all and none of that. What am I here to do? You're all already doing it. You are here. You are here to witness. You are here to play. That is all you are here to do. Some people believe that they have to be here to start a business start a movement, start a country, start an empire. And it's all great. But what you're here to do, you have already done by you being here. That is all you needed to do is to be here. to play in this playground. So don't think too much. Just like a seed, you don't know, you really don't know why you're here. Even if you thought you knew, but you don't really know. The true answer may not come out until many, many eons after you have lived and left. You're here to play a role. You're here to move the story along. And if you chose for some whatever reason to not play that role, that is also fine because if the role is important then someone else will step up to take up that role this is a movie that has no designated actors there are roles to be played and whomever it is that is in the right place at the right time and is willing to play that part will get to play that role. 
the role that the whole collective needed it to be played. And even though you may have been groomed to play a certain role, and it is still up to you to choose. And if you choose for whatever reason to play something else, to do something else, that's okay. someone else will come along and fill the gap. So it is all perfect. That's how it is arranged. That is how free will truly is. Your purpose, should you choose to. Is to simply allow what is within you to come out. And you wouldn't know what is within you until you allow it to freely come out without trying to make it to be something to try to shape it according to what you think it is what is within you will come out eventually. It may be something that is going to surprise you. There is one thing though, that you should know, and that is, no matter what you do, you're never going to be able to do anything wrong. Even though you may judge yourself in a way that has you believe that you have done something wrong. That is simply a one-sided human judgment. in the eyes of spirit. You can do no wrong, no matter what it is that you're doing or have done. And no matter what it is that you do, you will always be loved. Unconditionally. You will always be supported. You will always be able to find the 
playmates that will be attracted to play out whatever scenario it is that is within you that needed to come out, needed to be known. So we're here to tell you, to welcome you. To the earth, to the playground that your soul has chosen for you. That is going to be the most complimentary for you to experience at this time to assist you to step closer, ever so closer to source. Because no matter what we are doing, no matter what we have chosen, there is only one direction for us to go. And that is back to source. It may not happen in the next second, but it will happen. That is the destiny of each and every soul. This is the journey that we take. A journey to enrich and discover, to play, to understand, to create, to enrich source. is ultimately who you are and ultimately what is your purpose is to go back to source We love you. Thank you for joining us this evening. Thank you, thank you, thank you.